Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we are going to be covering the entire questline of Millicent, which is one of the longest, most in-depth questlines in the game. It's probably the one that starts the latest on in the game as well, as you need to have progressed well into Kaelid before you can even meet her. And it doesn't end until you have practically finished the game and defeated the hardest optional boss in the game. So let's get right into it and see if we can complete this questline together. I meet you now at Gowie's... Gowie, Gowie, Gowie Shack. I meet you at Gary Shack. Fuck's sake. I meet you now at Gary's Shack, which is east of the Lake of Aeonia, and in between the town of Celia to the north and the Celian Gateway to the south. When you meet Gary, he will tell you about Millicent, who is severely infected with Scarlet Rot, and wants you to go and find an unalloyed gold needle so he can hopefully cure her. We already covered where and how to find this needle in our Top Things You Missed in Central Kaelid video. However, I will flash it up on the map quickly for you just here. You need to defeat the boss Commander O'Neill here in the Swamp of Aeonia. Bring it back to Gowry and he'll reward you by revealing to you the secret of Celia. For the next part of the quest, we need to progress through the town of Celia so that we can go and meet Millicent. As I'm sprinting through the town and showing you where we need to go, you'll see that everything is currently sealed off. Again, we've already covered how to tackle Celia during the Things You Missed series, but a very brief overview. There are four towers with four altars that you need to light, and they will break the seals in the town, allowing you to pass through just here. So once you've done that, I'll meet you back here, and we'll go out the other side of the town and find Millicent. Once you've lit this site of grace, Start heading up the mountains. Just be careful of the giant steel balls of doom that will spawn in and start rolling towards you. Because depending on your health pool, they can one-shot you. Once you get to the top, just run through this graveyard. There's two kindreds of rot at the entrance to this church that you can take out. Then once you're in the church and you've grabbed all the loot that you want to get, now you can engage in conversation with Millicent. This is a long quest line and I don't want to make the video too long and too tedious for you. So I'll skip through some of this earlier dialogue and let you experience it for yourself. Because now you just need to go back and forth and back and forth between Millicent and Gowrie. Once you're back at him, this will have given him enough time to do what he needed to do to the needle. And it can now be used to stall the rotting sickness. Go back to Millicent and ask her to stab herself. Go back to Gary and tell him that she has stabbed herself. And now as a reward, you can purchase a few sorceries from him. Go back to Millicent once again and she will finally reveal her name to you. Then go back to Gary's shack after resting at a site of grace. She will now be here as well and tell you a little bit more about her quest. The next thing we need to do is go to the Shaded Castle, so I will meet you there. Once you're here and you've got the Shaded Castle Rampart site of grace, we need to head to a tower on the northwestern ramparts. So first things first, head in towards the centre and you'll easily see this ladder from a mile off. Climb up the ladder and then just follow the ramparts round to the left. You'll have to run past all these zombies and then eventually you'll get to the tower I was talking about. Clear out the clean rot knight in front of it and now you can loot the Valkyrie's prosthesis. At this point, I keep trying to show you the map so I can show you exactly where in the castle I am, but it keeps saying I'm in combat. So eventually, here we go. Now it lets me show you the map and you can see exactly where I am. So now that you've grabbed that, we need to go back to the Altus Plateau and I'll meet you at the Erdtree Gazing Hill site of Grace. Once you're here, just head slightly north and you'll find Millicent right here. At this point, you can give her the prosthesis and after you've exhausted her dialogue, she will move on. Just a quick side note here, before you give her the prosthesis, at this point in her questline, she will now be available to be summoned to help you with the Magma Worm Makar boss fight. Though she's really not needed, because Magma Worm Makar isn't that hard of a boss fight anyway, and you can also already summon Blackguard Bogart and Great Horned Tragoth. For the next part of her questline, I will meet you at the Windmill Village in the north of the Altus Plateau. You meet me here right at the top of the village and you can see Millicent is just here. However, once you've given her the prosthesis, 
if you come here before defeating the Godskin Apostle, who was right where we are standing, she can be summoned to help you defeat him if you wish. If you opt for that, then just reload the area resting at the Windmill Heights site of Grace, and she will appear next to it where she is now. Exhaust her dialogue, and then we'll move into the next area. You meet me now for her next encounter at the ancient Snow Valley Ruins Grace site in the mountaintops of the Giants. She is again summonable for another boss fight before you get here, the Blackblade Kindred boss right at the end of the Forbidden Lands. But then regardless or not of whether you summoned her to help you kill that boss, once you get here and rest at the Grace site, she will move here. Exhaust her dialogue here, and the next time we'll meet her will be in the Prayer Room site of Grace at Elphael Brace of the Halig Tree. To get there, you need to have acquired the Halig Tree secret medallions, and progress through the Consecrated Snowfields and Mikula's Halig Tree. All of the information on how to do that, if you haven't already, again is over on my Things You Missed series, so make sure you go and check that out first if you need to, then I'll meet you just outside of the Prayer Room in Elphale. As you're coming up to the prayer room, be careful for the clean rot knight outside that you need to take out. And then once again, all you need to do here is just exhaust her dialogue so that we can then go and progress the next part of her quest line. However, she will still stay here until we've done one more key thing. So let's move straight into that now. You meet me now at the drainage channel site of Grace that you will naturally discover during your progression of this area. Once you get here, head back the way you came and up the ladder go through the door and then head right up this hill. Once you've dealt with the Kindred of Rot, you can traverse this gap over this tree branch and on the other side, prepare yourself for one of the toughest ulcerated tree spirit boss fights in the game. I've heard it is possible to cheese him, so if you're struggling with him, I'm sure there's plenty of footage online talking you through how to do that. Once he's dead, there will be two summon signs one to challenge Millicent and one to help her defeat her four sisters. If you want to finish her quest line, you have to help her. All you get when you challenge her is Millicent's prosthesis, but you won't receive the unalloyed gold needle which you need to finish the quest line. So summon yourself into her world and help her defeat her four sisters. Or as you see in my case here, stand around and let her kill them all herself because you're useless and she is incredible. <laughs> Once they're all dead, you'll get the Rotten Winged Sword Insignia Talisman. Now reload the area and I'll meet you back here for the next part of her quest. Once you've defeated the sisters and reloaded the area, you will find Millicent here. Hello. Exhaust her dialogue and you'll find that she doesn't want to live like this anymore. She pulls the gold needle out and allows herself to die. Reload the area to get the gold needle back. And the next thing you want to do is teleport yourself to Melania's boss arena. Once back here at the Halig Tree Roots site of Grace, you can now return the unalloyed gold needle. This will grant you Mikula's needle and a somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Mikula's needle is incredibly important if you do want to try and 100% this game in one playthrough, because it allows you to accept the frenzied flame and then remove it using this item in Dragon Lord Placidus Sax's arena, which we'll be coming to in just a second. Also, whilst we leave some footage of a very spicy Melania fight here in the background, I just want to quickly come in and say thank you so much for sticking around and watching the video for this long. You are truly amazing. And if you are still enjoying it, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel, because it seriously helps the YouTube algorithm spread the word of Dom's Roundtable and help us find a new audience. So thank you so much. Now I meet you in the boss arena for Dragonlord Placidusax, just as we are defeating him. If you want to know how to get here and how to do this boss fight, make sure you go and check out the Things You Missed series for the Crumbling Pharaoh Missoula. And now we can use Mikula's Needle to tame the Flame of Frenzy. Side note here though, you don't have to kill him to do this. You can literally enter into the boss arena, use the needle and teleport out before you even aggro him. So if you are struggling with this boss fight, but you do want to revert the Flame of Frenzy, you can literally enter in, use the needle, and get out. So now the final thing to do is teleport back to Central Kaelid and start heading back to Gowrie's shack. Just as we get there, you'll see the giant Kaelid dog sat out the front. Now I always used to kill this dog on sight before a very kind person in the comments of a previous video pointed out that this dog isn't actually hostile. 
as you start running up to it and running past it, it does move. So just because it stood up and looked at me, I naturally assumed that it was going to be hostile. But as you see here, you can just run past it and ignore it. Now that we're at Gowry, talk to him and tell him the news that both Millicent and Melania are dead. He will be absolutely distraught and furious with them. And now that his usefulness has come to an end... Kill him. Do it. Kill him. <laughs> Now that he's dead, we get the Phlox Canvas Talisman and his bell bearing. This is a super powered version of the Faithful's Canvas Talisman and greatly increases the potency of incantations. And then of course, his bell bearing can be given to the Twin Maiden Husks to purchase any of his spells that you didn't purchase earlier. And now, whilst I kill his dog as well, <laughs> I'd just like to say thank you as always so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.